Hello, Mr. Silogar here with another riveting earth science video. Today's topic is correlation, which simply means we're going to match up rock layers in time and space. One of the classic examples that we use is the national parks in the southwestern United States. If we look at the Grand Canyon, this is a really big, deep canyon that has a lot of rock layers. It's going to go all the way down into the Precambrian time period, which has only soft-bodied organisms. At the top of the Grand Canyon, you're into the Triassic period, which has the earliest dinosaurs. You'll notice that the rock layers in the top of the Grand Canyon match up with the layers at the bottom of Zion National Park. As you work your way up, you get into the Jurassic time period, and the top of Zion National Park is going to match up with Bryce Canyon National Park, and that's going to take us all the way up into the tertiary time period, when the earliest modern mammals are walking the earth. So let's take a look at a couple of the techniques that I use to help us correlate rock layers. The first one is meant to be very simple. The second one is going to be a little bit more complex. So in the first one, I'm just looking at the rock types and see if I can match up the same sequence of layers in these different locations. Think of this as like Buffalo, Rochester, and Syracuse as three places where we can see the bedrock layers called an outcrop. Right away, I noticed that outcrop one, the bottom matches with the top of outcrop three. I've highlighted that in green. We're going to shift that up so that you can see the correlation more easily. Now, outcrop two, the question is, does this tie in? And if so, where? And I noticed that the bottom of outcrop two matches with the top of outcrop one. We're going to slide that out on up so that you can better see the correlation. Another technique I use is to number our rock layers. And once I figure out where the bottom is, I give that layer a number one. That is the oldest rock layer according to the law of superposition. And then I'm going to work my way up. This is a two, the three. I notice that I have the three in another location. I've correlated that three. These are my fours, my fives, sixes, sevens, and eights. And I work my way on up. Now let's take a look at a little bit more complex correlation. I hope there's no paleontologist looking at this because these fossils most likely are not in the correct order according to the law of superposition. It's just a diagram I made for a practice for correlation. So here's the technique. We're going to take a look at the bottom of each outcrop and we're going to see if we can tie that into one of the other outcrops or correlate it and then try to figure out where ultimately the oldest rock layer is. So if I take a look at outcrop one, I notice right away that the bottom here is matching with outcrop four. So that can't be the oldest layer. When I take a look at the bottom of four, I notice that that matches with the top of outcrop two. And so that can't be the oldest layer either. I notice that outcrop three, these bottom layers, I have this same limestone and sandstone layer with a fossil are matching up over here, and so that can't be the bottom. So ultimately, the very oldest layer has to be the bottom of outcrop two. Now, one thing to look out for is that you have several limestone and sandstone layers in here, and they're not all the same layer. You wanna use other evidence, like the rock layers that are above or below, or fossil evidence to help us use that as evidence to correlate those rock layers. So what I'm going to do is put a number one at the bottom of outcrop two, and I'm going to work my way up, one, two, three. Now I'm looking for a match with outcrop two and one of the other outcrops. I notice that it matches well with outcrop four, so I continue on with my numbering. This is rock layer three, four, five, six. Now we're looking to see if we can match in outcrop layers one and three. I notice that outcrop one is going to match with outcrop four. So this layer six shows up again over here, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And then those are going to match in nicely with outcrop three. I have this same sequence here. So this is layer 10, 11, and 12. Those are a couple of the techniques that I use for correlation. I hope you found this helpful.